Greetings, thank you for, for watching this video. Um, I wanted to make a follow-up to the video I made a couple of years ago on uh, best picks for mandolin. Uh, and the reason I want to make a follow-up is that uh, I have a, a few, few new picks that I want to highlight. Um, if you haven't watched the first video I made on best picks for mandolin, uh, I do recommend you watch it. It's, it's a pretty comprehensive overview of all of the best picks that I've played, and I've played pretty much everything I know of that's available, um, and some of the different characteristics of the different picks. Uh, so I'm going to put a link to that video uh, in the description below. I'll put a link here in the video and uh, put one at the end of the video too. Um, everything that I say in that video holds true. Uh, a lot of great picks there. Um, I wanted to just make a follow-up adding a few other picks that I didn't talk about in that video. Um, the reason that I'm making this follow-up video is I recently acquired a new mandolin. Uh, and as you can probably guess, different picks shine a little bit differently with different instruments. Uh, so I'll tell you a little bit about this instrument. This is a Dave Harvey signed um, Gibson F7. Uh, the, F7 the new F7s uh, are built as a tribute <clears throat> to the early 1930s F7 mandolin that Bill Monroe played uh, up until he started a playing playing his very famous um, Lloyd Lohr F5. So uh, this mandolin has the inlays, the decorations that match the style of that uh, early 1930s F7, um, but it's got the longer neck, so it's really actually an F5. So it's an F5, F7 tribute. This is a custom one. Uh, it comes with a Adirondack top, and um, a radius fretboard, so it's really quite a nice mandolin. This particular instrument has just a ton of low end, a lot of that uh, woody thunk to the tone, um, and uh, so having this instrument has allowed me to explore the possibilities of a few picks that really didn't stick out as particularly um, worthwhile on the other instruments that I've been playing. So I'm going to talk about four picks today um, and uh, give you a chance to hear a little bit of each of them. First pick I want to talk about is uh, Wagen or Wiegen uh, M150. There it is. Um, in the first video I made, I talked about the, the Wagen or Wiegen M100. Um, I didn't talk about this pick because uh, it's, it's extra thickness. It's um, a pretty hard material, and so um, I felt it just had a, a little bit too much stiffness with the other mandolins I was playing uh, and, and gave just a little bit of a sort of a biting or a harsh edge to the tone, the attack of the tone. But the, the deeper resonance of this mandolin um, can really uh, sustain that, that um, stiffer material. Uh, and so I've actually found that now I quite like this pick on all of my mandolins, all of my uh, archtop F-hole mandolins. Uh, it's got the rounded tips, uh, and it, it really brings out that... that kind of woody chop, that, that low thunk to the tone. Um, I think it sounds great, uh, especially for bluegrass, but uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll play a little bit and give you a chance to listen.
So the next picks I want to talk about are a couple of um, just standard uh, traditional guitar uh, Fender celluloid picks. So the traditional 351 uh, shape of the guitar pick. And uh, I'll, I'll just tell you a little bit about how I came to, to find these picks. I hadn't played a celluloid pick on a mandolin um, or at least a traditional celluloid pick on a mandolin for uh, for years, really since I, I got my starter mandolin and, and found that the tone was a little too brittle with the celluloid, a little too tinny maybe. Uh, so one day, recently, after I'd recently gotten this mandolin, I was uh, listening to some music and I wanted to learn a riff that I was hearing. And so I just grabbed the nearest pick I had on hand, which happened to be like an old guitar shop uh, pick that I had lying around, celluloid guitar shop pick. It was probably, you know, like medium thickness or whatever. Um, and I started playing. I thought, oh, my goodness, that sounds pretty good. So I, I tested out some more and got, got out some more of the old celluloid picks I had. And I liked the way it sounded on this mandolin. Um, <clears throat> so I bought a bunch of, of celluloid picks and tested them out and uh, found three that I, I think sound pretty good. Um, they're all fenders. Uh, these are both 351 shape um, heavy celluloid picks. <clears throat> the reason I want to show you both of these is I had read that, you know, the white celluloid was maybe a little stiffer and had a slightly different tone than the, the tortoise celluloid. So um, so I thought I'd try them both, and uh, I think I can hear a difference in the tone. I'll let you hear. I'll, I'll kind of play play the um, samples back to back so you can compare and see what you think. I, and I, I think maybe the, the tortoise uh, celluloid has just a little bit of a uh, softer tone to it, um, and the the white celluloid has a little bit of just a uh, uh, a little bit more bite to the uh, to the attack. They both um, they both have a wonderful snap to them, and I think they both bring out that that low tone of the mandolin. Um, it's really hard to to get <clears throat> any information on the precise gauges of these picks, but <clears throat> as far as I can tell, based on the information I've read and um, and comparing it to my other picks, I think these uh, heavy celluloid picks are somewhere around 0.8 millimeters uh, thickness. So thinner for sure than, than most mandolin picks. But take a listen, see what you think. Okay, the last um, last pick I want to show you. This is another Fender celluloid pick. This is an extra heavy, um, same 351 traditional guitar pick shape. Um, extra heavy. This is about a millimeter. Again, the gauges aren't precise, but it's about a millimeter as far as I can tell of uh, thickness. Um, and, and I like the way this sounds too. It doesn't have quite the same um, clarity, not quite the same attack as the. Uh, as the heavy picks, the slightly thinner picks, but um, it's got kind of a mellower tone, and I, I think it sounds great. So uh, see what you think. 
Well, I hope that you found this addendum to my Best Picks mandolin video useful. Uh, hopefully you get a chance to try out some of these picks on your mandolin and uh, see what you think of them. Thanks, thanks so much for watching.